Hello again, you're watching BBC News with me, David Eads. The latest headlines. The United States has ordered the families of its diplomats in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, to leave the country. Intense gunfire has been heard in the capital of Burkina Faso amid unconfirmed reports of a coup. Now, representatives of the Taliban are due to meet Western diplomats in Norway later on the second day of talks to discuss, above all, the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. Now, aid agencies are warning that millions of Afghans just don't have enough to eat. The Islamist group wants access to billions of dollars that are frozen in U.S. banks. Uh, what uh, are people to make of these talks? Well, Roya Ramani served as Afghanistan's first female ambassador to the U.S., and she is in Washington. Uh, Roya, thanks very much indeed for joining us. I guess the key really is the terms under which these talks are taking place, and um, you know, the, the, there are different interests here. But um, the Taliban are probably more needy than ever, aren't they? Uh, certainly, uh, they already have uh, uh, one of their needs is being met, which is uh, the very uh, trip by itself. It's their first trip to a European country, and uh, it gives it is basically opening the door for more to come. Does that worry? Uh, it depends what the consequences of these talks would be. Afghanistan had seen way too many conferences and meetings over the past 20 years. But what uh, has been the consequence, the outcome of it for the very people of Afghanistan, more bearing the brunt of these uh, tragedies uh, now at this point? Uh, so it would really depend on what would be the consequence, or is it going to be simply or merely a cover uh, for the West in order to address their own concerns, including preventing a, a refugee influx towards their countries? Right. It, yeah, good point you make there. I mean, there is also a, a degree of um, moral anxiety from the West about what is happening within Afghanistan and a need from the Taliban's perspective to bring money in to do something about it. They, they've got to find some compromise, haven't they? Uh, certainly, the, the very meaning of the negotiations and uh, compromises uh, moving uh, from the very rigid points. So uh, Taliban has not uh, demonstrated so far that they have been willing to move from uh, their, that point. And somehow they have held some of the very given issues like girls' schools um, or going um, the ability of girls to attend schools, which has been always segregated uh, as a bargain chip hostage. So let's see how much they are willing to move that uh, uh, in, in a direction that it would be beneficial to the people of Afghanistan. Do you? Th I mean, I'm, I'm surmising from what you said there that your fear is that the West will give ground too easily to the Taliban, for your liking. Um, well, certainly Taliban are uh, used to uh, seeing this over the past couple of years. So, yeah. So if you were to um, assess what you think will come from these talks, what would be your the end point f from your point of view? Uh, well, uh, it's clear that we know what are the main demands of the West as well as the main demands of the Taliban. The Taliban uh, want this as a stepping stone for uh, towards recognition, toward, uh, towards a relationship with the uh, outside world, uh, receiving aid and uh, assistance, lifting sanctions and whatnot. And the West wants to make sure to address the humanitarian crisis, including uh, human rights, women's rights. Uh, and uh, the bar has been really reduced low, uh, like making uh, um, girls uh, going to school as, as uh, uh, a significant uh, point. But uh, they also would uh, probably want to uh, seek assurances that Afghanistan would uh, never become, again, a breeding ground for terrorism, uh, threatening their countries, which I am not sure Taliban, could, even if they promise, can deliver yeah. that. And thirdly, yeah. they are asking for an inclusive government, which the meaning of which has been muddled over the years. Even previously, when they were talking about inclusivity and a broad-based government, it was interpreted differently by different people. Yeah, so uh, that fear yeah. of, uh, of a, a compromise you would perhaps not be too impressed by. Uh, Roya, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Washington. Thank you for